So you, they, look, it's, people will say all sorts of nonsense. I'm literally asking for a right. single example, and you can't name one. Hey, Jeff from Become More Compelling here. Going to do a quick breakdown of this Elon Musk, James Clayton interview. So my goal here is to help you improve your communication skills by learning from this conversation. We'll look at some things Elon does well and then some things that James could have done better. So let's dive in. Like or, or hateful? What do you mean to, to describe a hateful thing? Yeah, I mean, you know, just content that will solicit a, a reaction, something that may include something that is slightly racist or slightly sexist, those kinds of, those kinds of things. So you think if I'm, something is slightly sexist, it should be banned? I, no, is that I'm, what not, you're saying? I'm not saying anything. I'm saying. Well, I'm just curious. What you, I'm, I'm trying to understand what you mean by hateful con content. And I'm asking for specific examples. Um, and if, and you just said that if something is slightly sexist, that's hateful content. Does that mean that it should be banned? Well, you've asked me. You've asked me whether my feed, whether it's got less or more. It, I'd say it's. Okay, so here uh, James brings up his feed. So he's transitioned the topic uh, to his individual Twitter feed. Uh, and so he, he he's opening a can of worms that you'll see Elon's like got his his uh, uh, hand on, on his chin. Like he, he's winding up here. Got slightly more. That's uh, why I'm asking for examples. Can, right. you, can you name one example? I, I honestly don't need, I, I, honestly, you I don't. You can't name I, a single example. I'll tell you why, because I don't actually use that for you feed anymore, because I, I just don't particularly like it. But you said actually, you... A, lot of people, a lot of people are quite similar. I, I, I only. Well, well... So, uh, important thing to, to note here. L let's look at something that Elon does well. He is, uh, he's staying calm. Uh, he he's very much in the mode of like, hey, I'm gonna ask question after question to try to dig into the specifics of, of what James Clayton is uh, stating here. And so what you'll notice James Clayton's doing, he's already feeling uncomfortable. You can see his, his body language, uh, like if you watch the interview on mute, which is a great way to pick out body language, uh, his movements are very fast. Uh, you'll see that he he tends to like, uh, laugh to break tension. He breaks eye contact quite a bit. <laughs> Elon Musk, you know, I, I have no clue what it's like being El Elon Musk. He's like the richest person in the world. I I'm sure that's got to change kind of your, uh, uh, your communication habits, but he he's just like very, very calm, uh, making like easy eye contact sort of direct at James and, uh, James may, we can't mind read. So in a situation like this, what, what you're not going to hear me do is, is try to mind read this situation. But uh, without mind reading, we can just look at James's body language. He's brought up the notion of his individual Twitter feed. And anytime you're, you're bringing up anything, you know, if you're in a disagreement or, you know, interview a disagreement here, uh, you better have specifics. And James, uh, he struggles to... Uh, list specifics. He, I mean, he's probably nervous I and mean, he's talking to Elon Musk at Twitter HQ. I don't think he got a whole lot of notice for the interview, but you brought up something. He doesn't have specifics. So let's see how that plays out. Well, well, hang on a second. You said you've seen more hateful. Uh, one, one minor thing here that I really like is uh, James was trying to shift uh, sort of the uh, scope and Elon Musk brings it back to like, hang on a second, we're going to get back to what we were talking about, which I think is a really good move. So if you're in a disagreement or, you know, just a, a discussion and someone shifts something and you're not done, like, it's okay to like bring it back and like, hey, we're going to continue talking about this content, but you can't name a single example, not even one. I'm not sure I've used that feed for the last three or four weeks. And I, well, I then how did you see that hateful content? content? Because I've been I've been using I've been using Twitter since you've taken it over for the last six months. Okay, so then you must have at some point seen the you, for you hateful content. I'm asking for one example. Right, and, and I, you can't I, give a single one. And, and, and I'm saying I, I, then I, I say, sir, that you don't know what you're talking about. Really? Yes, because you can't give a single example of hateful con of content, not even one tweet, and yet you claimed that the hateful content was high. Well, that's a false. No, what I claimed, you just lied. What no? <laughs> okay, so. Elon Musk goes pretty hard here. And, you know, if you're looking for, for my particular opinions on, on the situation, you're not going to find them in this video. But what I will say is that Elon obviously believes something really strongly. He believes that a certain type of content isn't as prevalent. Uh, James is making the claim that it is higher. And 
again, without mind reading, we can tell, we can just tell the service level by the emotion in Elon's uh, voice. He feels really strongly about this. And, and, and so I think the larger point is if someone's presenting something that's counter to something that you believe in, you believe in it strongly. In this case, it's like it's Elon Musk's company. <laughs> uh, of course, he would feel really strongly about that. Uh, and James can't provide specific examples of of you know the types of content that he that he claims is on on the rise well elon musk calls that out and says hey you don't know what you're talking about you just lied uh which it's very direct uh <laughs> i would say tread tread with caution if you find yourself in a disagreement uh you're generally not going to get a great outcome by just point blank telling someone that they that they lied uh, yeah, sure. It makes for like a big media storm and, and obviously people like me making videos about it, which you could argue if that's good or bad. Um, but in your everyday conversations, if you're able to restate someone's viewpoint, even better than they can, if you can summarize it and, 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 uh, and be specific, you know, if they're giving you enough to be specific on. And if you're trying to persuade them in a different way, uh, or help them see another perspective saying something like, um, you know, you, you, you may have already considered this, but go in a different direction. Uh, this gives them an out to pretend like they, uh, had already thought of something and, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we should do the TPS reports this way or that way. Um, but this definitely makes for entertaining, uh, entertaining video fodder here. No, what I claim was. Uh, there are many uh, organizations that say that that kind of information is on the rise. Now, whether whether it has on Give my feed or not. Give me one example. I mean, I, right. And Literally if you, you look at something one. like the, the uh, Strategic Dialogue uh, Institute in the, in the UK, they will say that. So you, they, Look, it's, people will say all sorts of nonsense. I'm literally asking for a right. single example, and you can't name one. Right. And as One thing to bring up here, too, is uh, Elon's really got James in a corner here. Uh, and <laughs> James just can't for the life of him come up with one example and you know it could be if he was given a little bit more time sure maybe he could actually come up with one but it speaks to possibly a lack of preparedness on james's part uh we don't know we don't know the entire context of of how james got into this particular situation but what we do know is he brings up the uh strategic institute a strategic dialogue institute <sighs> I, I looked into it a little bit. I'm not going to pretend to know much about what they do. It's some kind of think tank, but uh, he just kind of weakly brings it up. He mentions the name of an organization, and and he doesn't really expound upon that or 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 you know link that to what specifically he's talking about. Uh, and Elon, uh, this is a a good a good phrase here. We'll see if we can go back just a second or two. So it's a good phrase. All sorts of nonsense. I'm literally asking for a right. single example. People say all sorts of nonsense, but you can't give me one specific example. And so um, that is a, it's an effective way to uh, to re refocus the conversation because that's what Elon Musk is doing here. He's refocusing the conversation. Uh, he's not getting sidetracked in whatever institute James Clayton brings up. Uh, and, and he's really hammering on the like, hey, show me one example, uh, which is a pretty powerful way to, to what Elon's doing here. He's blowing a hole in James Clayton's entire argument. Uh, you, I'm sure in the comments, you'll let me know like, oh, well, this or that, you know, James is right. James is wrong. Elon's right. Elon's wrong. That's not what really what we're talking about. We're, we're talking about uh, in sort of a high pressure environment. What can you do to... Um, uh, to poke a hole in uh, an argument that you that you view completely wrong, which it certainly seems like Elon Musk does view that uh, uh, James's position as completely wrong. Otherwise, it's if you've listened to Elon Musk at all, you know that he's he's a pretty nuanced guy. Like he, he really doesn't he almost never goes this hard, <laughs> uh, which is why it's entertaining to watch. You can't name one. Right, and as, as I've already said, I don't use that feed. But let's, well, then how let, would you know? Then, that I don't you, think this is getting anywhere. You literally said you experienced more hateful content, 
and then couldn't name a single example. Right, and as I said, I that's absurd. I haven't, I haven't actually looked at that feed. I then how would you know there's hateful content? Because I'm saying that's what I saw a few weeks ago. I can't give you an exact example. Let's move on. We have, we only have a certain amount of time. <laughs> uh, sometimes it can be really helpful, and 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 this is the final point I'll put on this is Elon Musk. Like he he lays out James's sort of argument of like, hey, you said this you can't name this and so how would you know um yeah it's really effective so if you find yourself in a in a disagreement in an argument uh do what elon's doing uh well number one try not to be in a disagreement or or, or an argument unless it really you know someone is saying something that really goes against like how you view the world or or something that's really important to you like okay then then it might be warranted uh <laughs> Uh, try to avoid disagreements and arguments generally is just a kind of a good life skill. But Elon Musk staying very calm, uh, um, body language is very quiet, and he's just asking a lot of questions and sort of peeling back layers of the onion to try to figure out what James's position really is. And, and James, on the other end, you can kind of see it. This picture really encapsulates everything. Uh, uh, James not making a lot of eye contact, uh, laughing to break tension, um, looking away quite a bit, not backing up claims that he's bringing up, which is a, which is a big problem, especially, I, I would argue, this is the closest thing you'll get to an opinion in this video, but uh, I have a background in journalism. Like, if you are bringing up, um, you know, claims of any sort, definitely good to have, to have sources to uh, back that up, which James didn't, didn't do. Um, which is a problem, but, uh, so I hope you enjoyed this breakdown. Uh, do me a favor. If you enjoyed this, hit the uh, like button. It helps other people find it. Uh, gently, gently hit that like button. Uh, leave me a comment and tell me, uh, what a terrible person I am or, or that you really like Elon Musk. I don't care either way in the description. I have a link to my communication style quiz, uh, that you can find out what type of communicator you are, uh, director, relator, socializer, thinker, and you can get a custom result based on, on your answers to the question. So enjoy that. And then I will catch you on the next one. Subscribe to this channel. If you want more breakdowns like this.